Hey everybody, my name is Daniel, and today we are going to be soloing Black Rock Depths. And the first thing I had to say about that is, ugh, this is a long maze-like dungeon that has several sections and takes quite a while if your intention is to 100% and kill everybody and everything. So as the game loads, just some quick background on this dungeon otherwise. Uh, King Thorson from the Black Rock Dwarves lives here and he rules the dwarves under the rule of Ragnaros the Fire Lord. Uh, this dungeon actually contains an entrance into Molten Core, which is the first raid dungeon of all of World of Warcraft. Okay, so. We're just waiting for all of our stuffs to load up here, and we will get started. And we're loading, and we're loading. All right, here we go. So we're going to go ahead and take out the flag. You can actually see Black Rock Mountain from Stormwind if your computer's not made of wood. That's this little outline right here. So actually Black Rock Mountain is not that far away from Stormwind if you can fly. So that's not too bad. So one other thing I'm kind of interested in seeing is even with all this bag space here, I'm not sure this is going to be enough to actually hold all of our loot so we might start having to play the game of uh, something what we're going to keep and what we're not going to keep. But, you know, that's part of what makes the game fun. Alright, here we are in the burning steps. Let's get rid of all the little red boxes there. This is the entrance to Black Rock Mountain. So currently in BFA 8.2, this is the entrance, or this area contains entrances to two raids and two, maybe three dungeons. Okay, so here we go. Now if we were to talk to this guy here or jump through this window, that would take us into the uh, Molten Core raid. Instead, we're going to come through here. Now if you, let me step back just a second here. Normally the way you're supposed to do this is come around here and you run down this chain. All right. So we're just going to go around here real fast. Yeah, here we go. Now, this room right here, if you were to come into this room dead, you would see a ghost here and he would give you a quest for Black Rock Depths. Uh, to be honest, it's been a long time since I've come here. I have no idea if that quest giver is still there or not. It'd be cool if he was, though. So let's get back out into the open. See? And then you would just come in the entrance and you hit that chain there and you fly down. But since we can fly, we can just go the quick way. There we go. Alright, so once we go through this doorway here, we have this whole big old area. There are one or two rares that can spawn in here sometimes. Like the the behemoth there. Let's go say hi to him. When I see a rare, he becomes a top priority because I don't know if there's any other players around that are trying to get to him or not. Now, according to my little listy list here, I already have all of the stuffs I need from him. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Vile Ren Slicer. Yeah, we can sell that. So let's just go ahead and quickly take care of the rest of these guys. Cool. 
We will need those, although we're going to get plenty before we actually reach the room where that is located. Don't need any of that. Get some silver. Alright. Take care of him. That everybody <coughs> need yes. No red folks there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and continue. Say goodbye to Mr. Amble Rage Taskmaster. The judge's gavel. Well, that sounds cool. Let's see what that looks like. That is definitely a hammer. kind of half-ass trying to collect all the appearances I can in the game so any little bit helps alright do these guys alright let's start making our way back towards the dungeon again Him. Now the next rare sometimes is a fire elemental that's in this little hallway here. Let's see if he's there or not. This is the masonry. That's a cool word, masonry. Hey, it looks like we might have something here. A couple other mobs too. So that'll be cool. Another relic copper key. So now the uh, entrance is uh, right there. We're just going to go ahead and clear these guys out here. Already maxed out on all the vanilla cloth, so I don't need to pick them up at all. Over Master Pyron. Cloak of Fire, we already have that. We can sell it though. Alright, let's grab that. Yeah, I saw there were a couple mobs there, so let's grab them. Boom! Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and enter the dungeon itself. Oh, how did that get there? Alright, let's go ahead and start our little timer. Now, one thing that is helpful here is we have ourselves a vendor that can repair. What's that? What's that? Good there. Now, whenever we reach the place with the here, we can come back and sell everything we need to, so that definitely helps out quite a bit. So, let's go ahead and go into this giant room here. You know, actually, I haven't been in here since the beginning of the current expansion, and these dogs look completely different. That's cool, though. I like the coloration. Grab that. I like to inventory as many things as possible. You never know when they come in handy. Actually, let's... There. Black diamond. 
That looks fun. Okay, so get these guys. We'll get those guys. Alright, everybody else is at the entrance of these tunnels. Now these three tunnels here. This is the beginning, this is the end, and this is a tunnel that goes straight, takes all the way to the back where the boss is. So, we're going to go ahead and make the whole loop, then we'll come back around and go down the center. <laughs> boom, boom. Real coffer key. Alright. Get ourselves organized again. Now, from the boss, we're going to get a prison key here that actually lets us open up a bunch of these doors. Not that one. But we'll see some doors here that are going to be available to open up here in a moment. There's a quest, at least there was one in vanilla, I don't know currently. But it's uh, allowed you to free the prisoner. In fact, it was the uh, same quest that you got from uh, going into that uh, tomb dead. You just have to know which door to go into. Oh, sorry, I got turned around here. Yep, that's one of them. Now, we're not going to worry about that because we don't have the quest today. And it's, uh, we're going to end up with the key anyways. There are several other doors you can open as well that just don't really do a whole lot for you. See? And that's the boss right there, High, inter high in Interrogator Gestron. Okay, take care of these. There. So yes, another door we can unlock. Crusader Shield and Fire Flash. And yep, that's worth the gold. We will take that. Don't want that. Alright, so here we are coming towards the end of the circle here. Get ourselves some more silver. Another silver. Black diamond. And some meats. Alright, so here's the end of the tunnel. Time to delete these guys. Alright, awesome. So now I say we're gonna go up the center here and hit up the boss. here with some more folks. Cool. Alright, two more rooms.
And boom. Alright, so here's our friend High Corpse Gerston. Alright, that's the prison key you want if you want to do that uh, questy quest. See, Black Veil Cape. And grieves a withering despair. That sounds happy. Let's go ahead and go out the way we came. Ho oh, hum. And we're walking, and we're walking, and we're walking. And we're walking. All right. So next tunnels are going to be, I believe, are called the Halls of Justice. And again, this goes in a big circle. Go down there. Come out here. Uh, we're actually going to be going back in because that's where the ne next uh, two bosses are, actually. So your real copper key, diviner, long staff of the quick blade. All right. We can sell that guy. I believe there's also a couple more rooms that you can go in and see uh, prisoners again. Don't need that. See, that's where we're going to go to do one of the boss encounters. Take out these dudes. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, only weren't done yet. Oh, nice. You got a little shield to collect. Dude. So as I was uh, mentioning as we were flying out here with the lore, uh, Ragnar is in charge and that is an elemental under his authority. Stone guard shit. Hey, alright, two shields. No, nope, actually can't do anything with that one so we'll sell it. And same with that. Okay, fine. Let's see what the guardsmen have here. Nothing too exciting. No. Yeah. Here's an exciting view of some lava. We'll be crossing that later on. Sweet. Let's see if we can uh, get the. Uh, all right. Almost a full gold there. him. Now our next boss encounter is actually uh, coming up here. I believe it's coming up here. We might have passed it. We'll have to see. Wow. Quite a bit of stuff here. Another black diamond. And we've got another axe. So let's get organized again. By the way, let's just uh, take a moment to eat here and get our little buffy buff. All right, 60 minutes of critical strike. No, that's not the entrance either. Hmm. Folks, I apologize. We are going to have to go back and do some backtracking here because there was an entrance that I missed. Probably where all the dogs were. Some black iron if you need it. Or excuse me, dark iron. No. 
Here we go. So, all kinds of dogs inside here. Some loots. That's the boss. Houndcourt Screbmar. So this is actually beneath the next boss encounter that we're going into. Uh, the idea is prisoners would be, uh, or rather this platform be brought down and then prisoners would be loaded up and then brought into the Hall of Justice. So now let's go ahead, take care of that. And we're walking, and we're walking. Leave, yep, it's right here. Ring of Law. All right, hi, Justice Grimstone. Let's wave. We actually don't get a chance to kill him at all. Cloth, white spider meat. Awesome. Alright, so now he's walking. Let's just go ahead and keep getting organized here. Sweet. So what do we got here? Oh, Worgen. The eviscerator. Dude, he gives us splint hide shoulders. Oh, I'm sure Avengers will be thrilled to death with that. Alright, so let's go ahead and come back here. We're now inside the East Garrison. Because before we do that, we need to go say hi to our buddy over here, Belgar. And if we do the next bit, it's going to close the door and make it difficult to reach him. And that wasn't the one we wanted. Pish. Great chest on the great great after killing the mobs. And the detention. Okay. Uh, tell you what, guys, if you don't mind, we are just going to quickly burn through here, see if we can find this. Sorry for the detour. Just on the gray grate. I don't recall ever seeing a great chest in the gray grate. Uh, 
I might be redoing this video. We'll see. Alright, nothing there. Not surprising. We will go up the center and see if it is in there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Anything here? That's not it. No gray grates or gray chests there. I don't see it, so we will have to revisit that some other time. Oh well. Okay, so now we're going to head back to our little entrance here. And just because it is a good practice, we're going to go ahead and sell off our stuff so that we don't need. Anything that has this green symbol according to my little add-on is stuff that we can't do anything else with anyways. The binds when equipped, we'll hold on to that. Hold on to that. Hold on to that. Sell that. And hold on to that. Those can go on the auction house. Cool. Glad I could help. So next, we are going to go ahead and go through here. Real fast. Great, great, great chest. Nope. So this is one shortcut. That is... Another shortcut, but there's no enemies in there, so we're just gonna go ahead and straight here. Nope, don't need burn a pitch. We got these guys, another couple of relic copper keys. Nothing else we're concerned with. No loots there. Silver and homemade cherry pie. They're doing some uh, exercises here. Get into that. Can't have people training. Alright, so 20 minutes in. And we've got 12 copper keys. And we killed this boss here. I'd say we're doing pretty good. Two rubidium, uh, or two hammers at least. Diamond, real coffer key. All right. Yep, no, we're good there. Yeah, let's 
so let's go ahead and we'll take out the rest of the enemies on the highway here. Dark Iron Highway. Righteous Gloves of the Aurora. Thought we sold that. Oh well, my bad. Another black diamond. Let's get organized again. Alright. Alright, got ourselves a male head. Let's, uh, yeah, there we go. This is the door I was concerned about closing. I said we will uh, come back later and take care of the little doohickey that uh, does close the door because we will need to close it eventually. Just at this point we need to sneak through so we can hit another boss. Take out these guys who are just sitting there staring at the wall. Being super productive. It's like these guys are all doing the same thing. But with a couple dogs. Uh, that's funny, they got stuck. Lots of black diamonds in this run. So far, that pushes our total count to 45. Have a reason to use those someday, I imagine. Fire, don't need that. Don't need any of that. This is just a zigzag because they put these enemies so far away. Can't do them all at once. These guys are probably good. This is the fire. Don't need either one of those. Anything good here? No. Okay. All right. This is Lord Incendius. Lord Indedrius. Couple blues. Alright, let's put this guy in a safe place there. That'll be a good landmark so we know everything before that needs to be saved. Another black diamond. Nothing there. Alright, constructs. A couple blues. That's cool. Schematic for a dark iron rifle. And we don't care about either one of those now. Sold them. Okay, so we can sell both of those. Okay, that one's empty. We're gonna got a ring. Let's see, thorium bracers. Yeah, we'll take that, and then we'll just uh, move that right there. And we're gonna be selling that as soon as we have an opportunity. We got Mr. Construct here. Yeah, we really like we kill our constructs. More uh, dark iron. 
if you're into that sort of thing. This one's empty, so we'll see if we can kite just a construct here so we can take out everybody all at once. That's sweet. Silver. So this was originally a level 60 dungeon, so this was a max level dungeon. Oh look, you can see that drill over there, that is an opportunity to go back to the beginning and sell off our stuff. So we will take advantage of that eventually. Wait for these two to come here. You're not going to cooperate. Alright. Yeah. Alright, so here we go. This is going to be the vault. Here we have Order Stilglis and Varric. So now we're going to be using our relic coffer keys to start opening these things up here. Most of the time there's nothing that's very valuable, but uh, you know, we'll check. Uh, some coins. Eventually once uh, you know, all these open up all these uh, Constructs here are going to come to life and we'll have to kill them. But that won't be for a while. Alright, some more coins. So this is the small one. And this is the big one. One gold. This guy opened up here. So, just going to quickly finish this up here. So, fat sack of coins, we got a gold, and a small sack, we got ten silver. Alright, we're getting towards the end here, I think two or three more. Nope, don't care about any of that. Yeah, three more. Hey, we got a blue. It's next, so we will be selling that. 14 silver. Alright, silver butts are going to come to life, I believe, once this door is opened up. Go. So 
let's just delete them. See here, anything else? Nope, we're good there. Okay, so this is the secret safe. It's also a jewel that's required for a quest. But we got ourselves a blue ring. Right, there's one other thing we need to do here right now. This right here will tell us where the dark key is. The dark key will open that guy right there. Ugle Hammer Hand is a skilled and solemn chiseler and would not burden with dark with the dark key. His hands are great shapes work in the hall of crafting, so we've not been there yet. So we will look for him there and then we'll be coming back here. Take care of these guys. I believe where we're at right now. Yep. We are we doing him, but we're gonna come down here, take care of Pi Master Lorgrain, and then, then we'll be taking care of the doorway. Get the diamond on you, so not sad that we met you. And actually, we no longer need these relic coffer keys either. That was the one thing we needed them for, and that has been that has been finished. These. Wolf needs now winning again. That's a drawing of Ragnaros, by the way. Is anything interesting? Yeah, the Twilight Creed. Requires a glowing torch. Oh, we won't worry about that then. I think that's for a quest. Yep. So we're going to be crossing this bridge here. Boom. No. No. That's funny, as soon as we take out these two, there's going to be another spawn that actually comes up behind us. Here he comes. So let's take out these guys. Now we are in the Shrine of Tharsong. Boom! Uh, I love that spell. See if it has such a long cooldown on it. Now there's more quests here having to do with... Where are they called? Twilight Dudes. Twilight Dudes were introduced in the Clism. Alright, so Pyromancer Lorgrain is down. Gave us some blue legs that we will be happy to sell. Alright, here we are. In the arena, we were actually here earlier. So you can see that's uh, the administrator there. We're going to take out the audience. Because they potentially have things that we need. No, no, 
nothing part here. It's just uh, kind of long. If I could just get these final six blues, I would never have to come in here again. Unfortunately, it appears to not be the plan. That's okay. Like I said, it's long, it's not hard, so I don't mind it. Okay, so that's where we came in. Let's go back the opposite direction. Is the fire guard? I don't know if that look now this is the doorway or a lot for the doorway that we were looking at before that we could have done earlier but we needed to keep intact so let's go ahead and get that squared away that bag of uh, wheat there is also needed for a quest This guy go. Woohoo! He's here at this window. Move on just a second. Five of Warlords. Never actually completed that deck. So this is the Dark Iron Highway that we had earlier. These guys were watching us do that. Here we go. Already at 40 minutes in this dungeon. As I said, this is a very long dungeon. Now, if you do not unlock the doors, this path right here will be blocked. So this is why we had to undo that giant lock there. This way is that Fire Lord boss, the Fire Elemental boss, and this is the entrance leading up to it. So now that we are on the other side, Go ahead and take care of these guys. Get our silver coins. Sweet, more stuffs. So let's see here. We're gonna do that. That. Then we'll do that. Dig out the room here. Lots of empty tables. I think this is where their uh, army comes to uh, eat lunch. Now yeah, we got another boss here. All we gotta do is go down these stairs. 
already have that one. It's the dude in the back. General Anger Forge. Corpse Anger Forge. Let's see here. We got some pants and we got a trinket. Head on up. And we'll head over this direction. Sweet. So we are now in the mini factory and this is going to be close to the area where we come to get the black key so we're going to be doing a little bit of backtracking the boss here the golem lord the golem corpse all right pants and some shoes wonder where a friend with the black key is located at this point Huh. Uh, I thought that was senior. We got ourselves a wand. Just want to make sure we did not skip the area that we needed. Thought for sure we would have hit him here. Oh well. Go ahead and go in here. Get these two. Alright, welcome to the Grim Guzzler. This is a bar that's really interesting and to get everything 100% here requires some shenanigans. Usually I don't, but we'll see what happens this time. First things first, try not to make any of the yellow mobs angry because these will all attack you. Here they are. He wants Lovely. ale. First, we're gonna go to look to his dark, dark banger, dark gainer, or dark bargainer. All right, so. Or know that. Or know that. Need that. Or you know that. Need that. I need this. And we already know that. Sweet. So we're just about to check him off our list here. Do 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 do. Awesome. So, so let's go ahead now that's out of the way. What are the five items I need to? Okay. First things first to bring in the first boss for this area. 
Just curious. Yeah. First things first, we need to destroy these things here. Dwarves don't like it when you uh, spill their ale. Now they're going to RP walk. Ugh. Okay. Early's tanker. That is a mace. A rage fury eye catch. That sounds cool. What does it look like? Oh, awesome. Alright, next step. We are going to talk to Mr. Ribley Screw Spigot. Let's bring these guys in here so we don't aggro anybody else. Wayfarer's knapsack. Oh, 16 slot bag. That's cool. As I recall, this guy, no. Sometimes there's a guy around here that could have the dark key also. Talk to me! Yeah. Keep it real! Pleasure doing business with ya. Now we got Phalanx here. Okay, so because we already had to kill a patron, uh, these guys came in already. Uh, I'm trying to decide if we want to trigger the rest of the bosses, or if we should just kill these guys and call it good. We don't need anything from fail. I think that's what we're going to go ahead and do. So there's a certain order of events you can go in that will actually cause Phalanx to uh, become red. Then you can fight him and get some more uh, loot that is specific to him. If uh, Phalanx stands in front of the door or stays locked, what you want to do is you either want to steal three of these mugs, give it to that guy there, or you can go to the wizard here that's uh, talking and you can uh, buy them and do that also as well. However, since the door is unlocked now, we can just uh, go ahead and see the cool loops here. So far, no. We'll just lay waste to this whole bar. Alright, we've got some... Oh, cool! Some plate shoes we didn't uh, expect. Those are always nice. And we got a ring. Oh. You can still get past them, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. Now, real fast, if you do uh, cause those giant doors to be closed and you can't get in, you can jump down here and access the boss and you're not going to be stuck. So. It's not the end of the world. There's a black 
diamond. So since we're here, we are going to use the mole machine and head back to the entrance. Now that we're here, we're gonna repair. Yeah, what do you want? Not much to repair. We're gonna sell all of this, free up some more bag space. back into just past the Grim Guzzler, right where we were. Okay, so that's the Grim Guzzler right there, and this is how we progress forward. So this is where we start getting towards the end of the dungeon and things are getting a little more serious. After that, I'm tempted to go back and look for the dude with the dark key. It's quite a ways because this is pretty much just now a straight line into the end of the dungeon. I think we're gonna go ahead, oh, you know what? No, I think we're here actually. So, let's take care of these dudes on top, then we'll come back and hit the ones on the bottom and hope our dark key is there. So we'll take out these guys, get our silver. Get our silver. And I don't see your dude. That's disappointing. Yeah, because it's like, what, Halls of Creation, right? Yeah. And this is the, like, second or third to final uh, boss fight. I'm going to head back there, and then we're going to uh, see what I did wrong. Chamber of Enchantment. Okay, so you see that bridge there? That is how you get to Molten Core. We're going to take a look at that once we get this sorted out. Now the place we need to go is just on the other side of this space. Unfortunately, there's not a way, it's an easy way to get there. Huh. Well, let's try it and see. No. Okay. So that just cost us a little time, but uh, you know, that's okay. That is our doorway shut. Oh, Halls of Crafting, right here. That's where we need to be. So 
don't know why we didn't see him before, but we will find out. I wonder if he just doesn't spawn until you actually open up that picture and look at it. Alright, Hall of Crafting. just don't see anything that we missed. Oh. So these guys here, yep, there we go. Yeah. Let's see if we can finally get a home for that. Cool. And all we had to do was just make a U-turn. I feel silly. Oh well. Alright, see if we can uh, cross off their Shadow of Arcane Mastery off the list here. Because Ironweave Mantle, it says, is no longer in the game. Black Blood Tormented. Huh, we'll look that up later, see what it does. Plans for Radiant Boots. Uh, yeah, we will keep that in a safe spot as well. So now we need to go back to where we were. Just beyond the Grim Guzzler will be fine. Do think though we're gonna have to go the long way unfortunately oh well <laughs> oh we forgot to get these guys here I guess it's a good thing we came back <laughs> yeah, anything worth looking at no okay Oh well, it is all good. Here, a little competition between the red wolf meat and the tender wolf meat has uh, tied up now. So, I don't know if we actually have any dogs left we're going to be getting loot from, but we'll see. Okay, that's that, so in theory. This way, and then this will lead us to back to the Grim Guzzler where we were. Put everything on the everything on the potential block. Heading to Shadowforge City, literally just zone drops left that we have. Pretty sure those are also done at this point. So yeah, here we are back across those doors that were such a big deal. See what I said when I said this uh, dungeon is just a gigantic maze? We're already over an hour in and we've not yet finished it. If I had uh, 
know where to look for a dude with a dark key, that would not have been a problem. Live and learn, I guess. See? Bridge that goes over lava. Oh, there's another view of those doors that would have been such a big deal. Yep, yeah, and now everyone in the Grim Guzzler hates us, so we'll just see if we can uh, kite them all together. Close. Green, that's cool. This is my uh, pet, the Terrible Turnip. I highly recommend you use this guy uh, when you are trying to capture other pets. It's got a really convenient attack that will never uh, put the target below 1 HP. Oh, let's see, we got a thing. Let's take a look. Just as soon as we clear out these guys. You end up getting like three times as many copper keys as you'll ever actually need. Alright. So let's see what these gloves look like. Counselor's gloves. Ooh, they're brown. All right, there's Phalanx, and we're just gonna walk right past him. Again, there's the uh, mole machine if we needed it. Alright, so now we are more or less back to where we were. This was our boss here, the Ambassador Flame Lash. Corpus Flame Lash now. Again, that's the path that takes you to Molten Core. We will check that out later. This, if I'm not... Okay, so this is the foundry we were in before. This is a shortcut, by the way, if you want to skip everything on the bottom, you just kill them off up here and you can uh, jump off the edge. This is kind of a unique boss fight. These are the souls of all the previous kings under Black Rock Mountain before Thorson. We're going to talk to uh, Doomrail here, get everything started. So really, they want us to set them free, but they can't be free until we kill them. So we are happy to oblige. Just as soon as we have one in sight. that leaves him. Yep. There we go. And here's our chest with the loots. Let's see what we got. Gold, leather head, mill chest. Okay. Our vendors will be very happy. This is the Lyceum. Okay. This is the path to go to Molten Core and to also uh, get you set up so all you have to do is just jump out the window and uh, you, you can go in so this is the attunement to Molten Core you uh, kill these guys say they're supposed to have loots Then kill these guys here. 
And right there straight ahead is the entrance to the Molten Core Raid. Would have been cool if they'd actually not let people get a tune and you actually had to have eight groups of five run this entire dungeon in order to uh, reach Molten Core, but uh, I, I think uh, like a lot of things that actually did get through the vanilla, that probably got overruled by the gameplay folks. And in this case, not entirely a bad thing. Alright, so we're gonna get back on the right track here. Now this is kind of a unique situation. This room's gonna be full of mobs, and there's only two that we need in order to actually get through and we have to locate them. They are torch bears. Trying to find them can be tricky sometimes. The thing about it is, even if you clear this room, uh, they're going to be back. So they're going to be walking around. And they are the only mobs in this room that you can actually loot. Yeah, that's not, oh, no, there's one, that's a flame keeper, that's what we need. You need to make sure that you have at least one slot open in the bag so you can come do this. Anyway, these are the guys that are dressed up all in red. Okay, so since we do have the Shadow Forge torch here, we can go ahead and light that. Now, if you're low enough level, these guys can hit you. You can't actually do that until you are no longer active. So let's find our other torch bear. Again, he'll be dressed in red. There he is. these guys yep and see the flame elemental is what you look for so you know where you're supposed to be so do that and boom those doors open I believe these guys will not follow you in there. Or maybe they will. So, Magmus is here. Once you kill him, there's uh, kind of a gauntlet of torches you have to go through. See, you got anything good here. Some green, some of that, a couple of blues. Actually, we do need that. Cool. There. Just blink our way past this. Alright, this is the final room. Right there is Emperor Thorson. But we're just going to go ahead and clear this room out first. It's not too difficult to uh, get a Larkin explosion. And while we're doing this, you can see Thorson uh, thanking us every time we kill a mob because they are getting in its way. Huh. It can be red, huh? So what happens if we read it? Okay. Alright, let's take care of the senator here. Dudes. 
Now the, the troll here, he's a Twilight Ambassador and there's also a quest to uh, kill them. So make sure you uh, don't skip these guys here. Let's put that in the safe spot. See, Torn's another one. Cool. That's everybody in this half. This side. Get a human, he's a Twilight Ambassador. As long as you don't skip enemies, you shouldn't have any trouble uh, taking out as many as what the quest requires. So, yeah, don't be lazy, and you will be fine. Let's get that into a safe spot. Cool. All the appearances. Alright. Get some silver there. Take care of that there. Another black diamond. Take out these guys here. Coffer key like we need it. Alright, so this is Thorson. That's the high priestess of Thor. Oh, uh, they changed it. It used to be the lady that's now one of the three uh, emperors of uh, Iron Forge. What, what what is he immune to? I don't get it. Okay, you just can't kill him. He's big. All right, another cult coffer key. Oh, we got this guy. We can sell. And this guy that we're gonna sell. Sweet. So let's quickly have seat. Um, throw out a black rock mountain. Aren't we cool? Right, now we're going to head back to Stormwind so we can sell our stuffs. Well, that was a fun dungeon. It was long, but uh, we got through it. And as I was saying earlier, it's long, it's not difficult, so you should be fine. So, if I can type, thank you again, and we will catch you all next time.